good morning students today i am going to continue with the next family that is uh, fabaceae so far you have studied four families in polypetale starting with anonesi the second family was brassicaceae the third family malvaceae fourth it was rutaceae now the fifth family that is uh, fabaceae is the next family i will continue with the fabaceae now fabaceae the classification for family fabaceae it belongs to class dicotyledon class dicotyledon subclass polypetale series dry is a kind of dry dehydrated 
superior ovary of a flower where the ovary or the uh, fruit is having dorsal and ventral suture the fruit dehizes both on dorsal as well as ventral suture splits open and releases the seed and that kind of fruit is called as legume and because of the characteristic fruit called as legume the family was earlier called as leguminous say but the now it said rule that the family name must end with a suffix called as ac so that it is changed as fabaceae fabaceae or it is called as leguminous say this is second largest family of dicots because the first largest family of dicots is asteraceae and it is the second largest family of dicots where it includes the fabaceae family includes all the members having legume type of fruit okay all members with legume type of fruit fall under the family fabaceae legume is a dry pod bean you remember the bean that is beans is an example for the legume type of fruit all kinds of beans beans some some there and all the those plants which is a, a black gram a green gram and it may be uh, sizer aditinum that is a bengal gram all those are example for legume type so that the members which are characterized by legume type of fruit they belong to this fabaceae family the common examples are this kajaras kajar that is a dal dur dal all these pulses all pulses belong to the family fabaceae and apart from that uh, the mimosa pudica that is twin root plant is a member of the fabaceae family and the shikakai is also a member and these all these acacias the forest department is cultivating acacia plants and all those acacia belong to the main family that is called as fabaceae for convenience this fabaceae is further classified into divided into three sub families let us uh, study all the three sub families which fall under family fabaceae later and the introduction to fabaceae is all plants which are characterized by the production of legume or another kind of fruit produced in general are called as romantum romantum is a kind of dry fruit only it is a simple dry fruit where the fruit shape is slightly different the fruit shape is constricted like this so you might have seen uh, the fruits of mimosa podica mimosa podica the dutch wine root plant is characterized by this kind of fruit and the fruit is constricted generally the beans is not constricted this is a beans fruit okay this is a, this is a kind of beans that is like but if it is constricted like this and every constriction is going to contain one seed inside and that kind of fruit is called as romantum kind of fruit shikakai is also uh, the, it is characterized by the same kind of fruit it's called as romantum here this is called as legume so almost all members of this family they are characterized by legume or the romantum kind of fruit they belong to the family fabaceae this is the second largest family which contains about 600 genera contains about 600 genera and 12000 to 13000 species okay this is second largest family you can by the number of genera and species which are included under the family we can make out it is nothing but it's a, one of the largest family of dicots and see about 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 because we we are not confirm we are not definite Then we are definitely we cannot say that there are only 600 number of genera. So about 600 genera, about 12,000 to 13,000 species are included under the family Fabaceae. Okay. Just let us uh, continue with the family Fabaceae. General characters for Fabaceae, and later on let us continue with the classification of family Fabaceae and continue with the subfamilies later. Okay. General habit of these plants. Before going on to this. Let me give you some examples of the family. Uh, this is a family Fabaceae. You have seen the Mayflower tree. That is a member of the same family. All varieties of Cisalpinia, all colorful Cisalpinia, which are of ornamental value. We say who is called a Cisalpinia? That uh, that is a plant which belongs to the Fabaceae family. Then the Tamarind Woodsay is a member of the same family. Saraka indica, the sacred Ashoka plant, Ashoka tree, is a member of the family. Apart from that, all pulses, all pulses, green gram, black gram, Bengal gram, then this uh, dal, all dals, and uh, uh, the burli that is also a member of the Papilionaceae. Then uh, the other plants which belong to the family are acacia species, all acacia species, mimosa pudica, the Dutch bean plant, and then uh, the other plants which 
belongs to the family. Example, the common examples of this family are uh, this is a uh, Mente is a member of the same family. Mente belongs to the same family. Butea frondosa and Butea monosperma erythrina. They are all the members which belong to the family Fabaceae. So it is a very large family consisting of about 600 genera. And the plants which belong to this family are, with respect to the habit of the plants which belong to the family Fabaceae, the habit of the plants, the plants are herbs, shrubs, trees, or climbers. Because all these varieties of beans are climbers, they are all beans stemmed plants. So we find all the different kinds of habits among the plants which belong to this family. Many of them, some plants are herbaceous in nature, many of them are shrubs, some of them are big trees, some of them are smaller trees, and many of the beans varieties, they are all climbers. So that we find all these four different types of habit found among the members of this family. And another important feature we can add here, some of the plants they are spiny in nature. The spiny plant parts are present in some of the plants which belong to the family. Otherwise, the hairy nature of the plant parts. The plant parts are hairy or they are spiny in some plants. Okay, in some plants, not general feature. Some plants are characterized by the presence of hairy plant parts, or the, some plants are characterized by the spiny plant parts. Because the mimosa pudica, we cannot touch the mimosa pudica very easily because it is characterized by the presence of spines over the surface of the stem. So that, that is the feature of habit or in general for the family Fabaceae, which includes all the 600 genera and 12 to 13,000 species, right? The leaves of this family, leaves in general, very rarely the leaves are simple or Leaves are simple or compound. Very rarely, very few members are characterized by the simple leaf. Otherwise, most of the family members are characterized by the compound leaves. And mostly the leaves are pinnately compound. You know what is meant by pinnately compound. Check the previous video and understand what is the pinnately compound leaf. Generally, the leaflets are found on both the sides of the branches. So it is called the pinnately compound leaves. So leaves are either simple or they are compound, generally they are compound and if they are compound definitely they are pinnately compound in nature and the leaflets are characterized by the sleeping movement is of common occurrence. One of the very important characteristic of the family is called as sleeping movements are observed generally in most of the plants. Sleeping movement means the leaflets of many of the plants close up in the evening and they re reopen in the morning. And if you look at the any plant which belongs to the three subfamilies of Fabaceae, they will be open in the daytime and they keep their leaflets open to receive uh, the sunlight which is helpful for the process of photosynthesis and in the evening they are going, going to close up all the leaflets. They sleep in the night and again early in the morning they are going to reopen the leaflets and that moment is very important characteristic of the members which belong to the family Fabaceae. Apart from this, some plants, very specially for the plant that is called as Mimosa pudica, Mimosa plant, and all of you know the feature of Mimosa, it is called as Nashkin Pulu, and it is a touchy not plant. If you touch the plant, the leaflets, they close up. And they are very much sensitive to touch. They feel very, they are very much sensitive if you touch, and the movement of the closing of the leaflets belongs uh, does directly depends directly upon the degree of touch. Okay, if you slowly touch the leaf, slowly the leaflets they start closing down. And if you touch the plant very rigorously, then immediately all the leaflets they close up. And that is because of the physiological phenomenon is there. That is called a cis monastic movement is observed in the leaflets of this Mimosa pudica, but they are sensitive to touch. There is another plant called as Desmodium virans. Desmodium virans is uh, the local common name for Desmodium virans is Indian calligraph plant. And in case of this Desmodium virans, it is characterized by three leaflets in one compound leaf. The two lateral leaflets they show rhythmic up and down movement as there is increase in the day temperature. Because of the fluctuation or increase in day temperature, the two lateral leaflets they just move up and down. Uh, so that it is called as Indian calligraph plant, that is called as Desmodium virans. 
These are all the features, special features observed among the leaves of the plants which belong to family Fabaceae. So very rarely the leaves are simple, otherwise they are compound and mostly they are pinnately compound. They almost all plants they show characteristics, characteristic sleeping movement. Some plants, the leaflets are very sensitive to touch and they are sensitive to temperature also. The leaves are stipulated in nature, characteristic stipules are present. And in some plants the stipule may be modified for various purposes. There are some plants that is stipules may be spiny for defense mechanism. In some the, it may become leaf-like foliaceous which perform the function of photosynthesis as it is found in pea plant. But definitely the leaves are stipulated in nature. So alternate phyllotaxy is of common occurrence. Very rarely it is opposite. And the leaves are characterized by the presence of pulvinous leaf base. You know what is pulvinous leaf base? The pulvinous leaf base means leaf base is slightly swollen. Okay. So if these are the leaflets here, it's a swollen leaf base and it is to be called as pulvinous leaf base. Okay. So leaves are simple or compound and mostly they are pinnately compound. The leaflets are characterized by the leaflets they show the sleeping movement or they are very much sensitive to touch, sensitive for the increase in day temperature and the leaf, leaves are characterized by pulvinous leaf base and the leaflets, uh, they are, each leaflet is characterized by unique ostrate reticulate kind of variation. So stipulate, the presence of stipule is also important feature of the members which belong to the family. The stipules may be simple or it may be modified to perform various other kinds of functions. Okay, that is about the leaf nature of the family. Then the inflorescence of the family, inflorescence in the family, inflorescence is basically racemos type. It is racemos. Choril is also a kind of racemos inflorescence. Or it may be spike. Or it may be globose head. So all these are the different kinds of inflorescence found among the members which belong to the family and basically the Korean spike, globus head, all of them they belong to the racemos type only. Racemos is an indefinite inflorescence where the axis never terminates in a floral bud, the axis continues to grow. The flowers either they are sessile or pedicillate flowers, they are bisexual which are arranged in a tropical manner and that is the characteristic feature of racemos inflorescence. Corine, spike, globus head. The globus head is found in case of Mimosa pudica. All of you might have seen Mimosa pudica flower. When it purple color, nice looking, round ball like inflorescence is produced. It is not one flower, it is an inflorescence. You might have seen Corine inflorescence of Mayflower. Delamix regia is Mayflower. Cisalpinia is also an example for Corine inflorescence. All flowers are brought more or less to the same height. So it is Corine. Spike is found in several species of Acacia where the sessile bisexual flowers are arranged in a tropical manner. The stalk is absent among the flowers. It is why racemos is found in case of protelaria and other means varieties. Racemos is again stalked bisexual flowers arranged in a tropical manner. Okay. These are the various kinds of inflorescence generally found among the members of uh, family. Now the flowers of this family. Flowers are generally zygomorphic. or very rarely actinomorphic in some members. You know the meaning of zygomorphic and actinomorphic. Generally the flowers are zygomorphic because first two subfamilies of this family are characterized by zygomorphic flowers. Mimose is with actinomorphic flowers. So very rarely, very few number of plants which belong to Fabaceae are with actinomorphic type of flowers. So zygomorphic or actinomorphic, pedicellate or sessile, bracteate or ebracate flowers, hypogynous or perigynous in nature. The flowers may be because in uh, the classification itself we have it belong, the family belongs to Calciflora and Rosalis where the flowers are either hypogynous or they are perigynous in nature. Rarely they are perigynous, generally they are hypogynous in nature. Bisexual flowers and pentamerous except carpels in many cases. In many of the flowers, the flowers are pentamerous except the carpels because carpel is always one. Okay, it's monocarpillary, unilocular ovary is of common occurrence among almost all members which belong to Fabaceae. So that the pentamerous except the carpel. So that flowers are zygomorphic, rarely actinomorphic, complete, pedicellate or sessile, bracteate or ebracteate, hypogynous or perigynous, pentamerous except the carpels. Okay, now 
Sepal sulfide, they are free or slightly fused at the base with valvate distribution. Generally, with valvate distribution, very rarely with imbricate distribution. And corolla, this is very special. Again, this is made up of five petals. There are five petals, free polypetals in nature because it belongs to polypetalic. See, this polypetalic. So, all the five petals are free in nature, but the petals are of different shape and size because of that the flowers generally become zygomorphic in the first two subfamilies. First the family subfamily is called as Papilionaceae where the flower is Papilionaceous in nature, Corolla is described as Papilionaceous. You know what is Papilionaceous shape of the Corolla where the Corolla appearance is like a butterfly. Okay, you check the previous video at the meaning of the Papilionaceous Corolla that is found in the Papilionaceae subfamily. Then Cisalpine is a family again with is agomorphic nature because there are different sizes and shapes to the corolla where the corolla is made up of clawed petals. The petals are mostly clawed in case of the Cisalpine. Even Papillonia seed is consisting of a very small claw. And the corolla in case of Mimosa is made up of uh, slightly fused the nature of the petal is found in the corolla of Mimosa. There may be four to five number of petals in Mimosa some family where the petals are not fully free they are slightly fused at the base and that is the characteristic feature of the corolla in case of Fabaceae. And in Papillonaceae subfamily, the estivation is definitely vexillary. It's a vexillary or descendingly imbricate type of estivation. Whereas in case of uh, Cisalpine subfamily, it is a uh, imbricate estivation there. Both in calyx as well as corolla it is imbricate estivation. And in case of uh, Mimosa subfamily, it is with valvet estivation. No Latin is found in the flowers of this uh, mimosis of family. So there are andraceum in the family. The characteristic feature of andraceum, generally the andraceum number, maybe it may be 10, 10 in number, 10 stamens or more. 10 stamens or in some flowers, so 4 to 5 number of stamens are also found. Because in a mimosa, mimosa pudica, there are four or five number of stamens, and generally the stamen number is ten. And the stamens are not free. All the stamens are not free in many cases. If the ten stamens are found in the family, then they are free in case of Cisalpine subfamily. In case of Papilionaceae, the stamens are arranged in monadelphous condition. Check the meaning again. Monadelphous, or it may be diadelphous. Both conditions are found in the subfamily Papillonaceae, monadelphous stamens or diadelphous kind of stamens. Whereas in case of Cisalpine, all stamens are free. All ten stamens are free. There are various height in Cisalpine. The filaments are of different height in case of Cisalpine. And in some species of Cassia, number of stamens are reduced because many of the numbers, many of the stamens are reduced to staminodes there. Sterile stamens are called as staminodes. Some stamens are modified into staminodes and very few number of stamens are functional in case of cassia species. So that there is a feature of the stamens here. Whereas in case of mimosa subfamily, all the stamens are functional. The stamen number is only 4 to 5. They are free. And angles in general, they are two sided with the longitudinal and digits. Okay. Mostly they are basic fixed with the longitudinal digits. That is a feature of endratium in the family Fabaceae. Now the magnesium. Magnesium in general, there is no variation in magnesium in all the three subfamilies of family Fabaceae. Magnesium is monocarpillary unilocular. It's monocarpillary unilocular. Okay, ovary superior. Superior ovary. Or it may be if because if the flower is peridinous, then it must be semi superior. Very rarely it is semi superior, generally it is uh, uh, superior only in almost all members of this uh, family, in not semi superior. It is a uh, monocarpillary unilocular superior ovary with many ovules. Ovule numbers are many and characterized very important characteristic presentation in the ovary is called as marginal, marginal placentation. It is monocarpillary unilocular superior.
speed we are overing with many of you this arranged on marginal classification. Style is simple and stigma is also simple. Okay. So the fruit of the family, already I have given the name, the type of fruit found in the family. It is legume or nomentum is a type of fruit. Legume or nomentum. Both are dry fruits, this is dry dehydrate and it is a schizoactive type of fruit which uh, breaks into separate partitions which each partition containing one seed so that there is a momentum type of fruit and this is the legume type of fruit. So these are the general features of family Fabaceae. Okay, general features because the Fabaceae is the large family which contains 600 genera, about 600 genera and 12 to 13,000 species. Okay, to understand the characteristics very properly or because there is a uh, lot of variations in the corolla, the distribution and the nature of the characteristic of the plants. To make it convenient to study almost all plants which belong to the Fabaceae, the Fabaceae is further classified into three subfamilies. These are the general characters. I did not, uh, uh, you did not go for uh, write down the distribution features of the Fabaceae because you are going to study the subfamily in detail. So, family Fabaceae now, this is whatever the characters you have studied, it is for family Fabaceae. Okay. This family Fabaceae is further classified into subfamilies. One, Papilionaceae, okay, subfamily two, Cisarpinae, and subfamily three, Mimosae. Okay, these are the three subfamilies because the Fabaceae is the large family consisting of many number of genera. So those genera depending upon the characteristics they are divided into three different subfamilies there. Papilionaceae is the first subfamily, Cisalpine is the second subfamily and the Mimosae is the third subfamily of family Papilionaceae. Because here you can make out Papilionaceae is characterized by the presence of Papilionaceous corolla. 100% members which belong to this subfamily Papilionaceae are characterized by Papilionaceous shape of the corolla. Papilionaceous corolla. You just go through the previous video and collect information regarding what is this papilionaceous corolla. Actually, it is butterfly shaped corolla. So, papillion like, it is a Greek term, and the subfamily is called as papilionaceae. Cisalpinae is the second subfamily. The second subfamily, Cisalpinae, is represented by Tamarindus, Murse, all varieties of Cassia, all the species of Cassia, Cisalpinia, Mandara, Bohemia belongs to the Cisalpinae. Saraka Indica, Sacred Ashoka plant belongs to Cisalpinae family. So that those are the members which belong to the Cisalpinae family where the corolla is characterized characteristically the age duration in the corolla and helix is duplicate. And here the flowers are characterized by maxillary situation. It is these are the compulsory characters of these subfamilies. We cannot change the characters. It, it, it is very mandatory to remember these two characters. Where if you write the corolla is papillinaceous, it is compulsory that it must be with vaxillary situation. Whereas in Cisalpine subfamily, almost all flowers, calyx and corolla, is characterized by the imbricate kind of situation and mimosa is touch me not family. So that these are the three subfamilies of family Fabaceae. And let us study each and every family in detail in the next class so that you have you have uh, understood the characteristic features of this Fabaceae here. The Fabaceae is the larger family with herbs, shrubs, trees, or climbers, uh, the different plants, different kinds of plants, where the leaves are generally kinetically compound and the leaves they show characteristic sleeping movement, pulvinous leaf base, occurrence of the stipule. Inflorescence is generally racemose type and there are various types of racemose inflorescence. Flowers are zygomorphic or very rarely few plants are with the flowers are actinomorphic in nature. Bisexual flowers, pentamerous except apples. And the endracium, stamens if they are there, mono or diadelphus in nature. And in case of cisalpine, all the stamens are free. Mimosa is also with free stamens. The gynacium is definitely for all the three subfamilies, the gynacium character is same. 
no change in the radiation character. Almost all plants of this family C are characterized by monocarpellary unilocular superior ovary with ovules arranged on parietal, sorry, marginal presentation. And the fruit is called as legume or the lamenta type of fruit. Okay, just uh, recollect the memory of all these characters for Fabaceae. Then uh, write down characters for Fabaceae. Let us continue with the Papillonaceae in the next class. Okay, thank you.